Hi there and welcome to Tech Radio Talks. My name is Patrick Goss, I'm the Global Editor-in-Chief. Um, I've got John McCann with me and today we're going to talk about driverless cars. Now John, this is a bit of a divisive subject, especially for someone who's a really keen driver like you are. Yeah, I love driving and the last thing I want is for that pleasure to be taken away from me really. Driverless cars, yeah, lots of cool tech going on, but there's nothing like sitting behind the wheel of a car, putting your foot down on the accelerator and just flooring it from 0 to 60 really. Have to confess. I'd be quite pleased if I could just give up all the driving duties. I do already to my wife, but it'd be nice if I didn't have to worry about it. You know, you can go out, not have to worry about getting home, you're a bit tired, doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, I've got to, got to admit, the moment there's a driverless car that works properly, I'll be, uh, I'll be champing at the bit to, uh, to get one. Uh, definitely they've got their advantages, you know, if you want to go to the pub, have a couple of drinks and then get the car home without having to uh, drive it then great and you know for really long journeys when maybe you get tired or something you can continue driving and not be quite so alert definitely there but I'd always want the option to switch to manual controls as well because yeah. I like that that feeling of you, you kind of car. feel that, that, that actually what will happen in the first point of this will be that it will be like motorways you'll get a bit of a driverless experience yeah. if you want to you'll be able to lift your hands up let it do itself almost cruise control done well um, but actually, probably driving around the little country roads to get get back to your house will, will be something that you do for a little while. But you know, does it does it really matter? I mean, could you not just uh, go and drive at a racetrack for? Well, that, do you think that'll become like the new thing rather than having to drive for? I mean, that uh, that's a very different experience to just driving on a road. You know, if I hit the motorway and stick my radio on, listen to some music, driving up, you know, just get lost in your own world a little bit while you're driving. Racing is a uh, a completely different driving experience and yes while I'm not going to say no to, to racing it's not something you can just easily do you'd have to get to the track and there's sort of well, you could drive this car there couldn't you? you could drive this car there but then <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean from, from what I was, I was chatting to a couple of people uh, who do a lot of the chips that are obviously the first mm. stage of this and they were saying that they think most cars will have modems i.e. They'll, they'll be able to be tracked where they yeah. are and where they are in relation to other cars um, in the next couple of years that most of the cars coming off the production line so we're probably only four or five years away from seeing some really interesting strides taken. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many sort of concepts out there and early development models and stuff. I've seen several from various companies doing things with them. And a very interesting one is driving abroad. So especially if you're in the UK and then you want to go to continental Europe, they obviously drive on the other side of the road, the wheel is on the other side of the car. And I've seen concepts where the wheel literally slides across the dash to the other seat. and which helps you obviously with your positioning on the road and your eyesight, which is really clever. And also if you could drive this car in a foreign country, then if you can't read the signs or don't really know the roads or the traffic laws, then the car can just take over. And in those situations, you can see it being amazingly helpful. So um, we'd love to know what you think. Are you, uh, are you pro driverless cars or are you a little bit worried about giving up a bit of control over to uh, our robot overlords? Uh, comment below and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.